Hello everyone. I get a lot of questions about how I work. Now, I have done many books in blank journals, some art journals um, I've done in blank books and stuff. And a lot of times I come across a problem where I've got too many pages in a blank book and it's too full and it doesn't close. And I, I, I found that I enjoy working in signatures more than I enjoy working in a book. Working in a signature allows me to not fight the cover, the rest of the pages. I can make a signature with whatever kind of paper that I'm using. I can make it as many pages as I want. And then when I am done with the signatures, I can sew them together in a book. And it makes it a little bit more my own because I make the covers to put the signatures in. So I get a lot of questions about uh, what I make the signatures from and how to put the signatures together and why I do the signatures like this. This is a collage journal that I did um, last year. And it is, I'm getting ready to, to put it in, in a book, in a cover. I'm getting ready to sew it into a cover. But I worked on these signatures by themselves. And again, it, it's easier. The, the paper's flat when I open it up. I'm not fighting the rest of the book. I'm not fighting a whole bunch of other pages. And it is easier to stencil and stamp and write in signatures than it is to try to write in a book. So I, for this one, I just put some regular copy paper pages together, folded them in half, put them together, and did a collage journal with it. The reason I like working in signatures is because as I am working on stuff, um, I have tried to do things on single pieces of paper, but I really enjoy books. I like flipping through books. I like having a collection of, you know, art journal pages or collage pages or whatever I am doing. I like things in a book. Uh, I like the feeling of a book. I like flipping through a book. I like to get inspiration from books. I enjoy books. So if I do single sheets of paper, and I'm going to use these calendar pages as an example. Okay. Um, let's say I did a collage and I got it just right and I like the way that looks. Um, and then I did a different collage and I just love, you know, the, the sides of the paper. It's the composition I like. The colors go together. I like the page. Um, and I do a couple of these pages. So I've got all these pieces of art ready to put in a book. So if I were to fold this in half, and I need a bone folder to do that, make sure it's all nice and crisp. And I fold this one in half. I'm gonna fold it with the, the white side together this time so that I can make a signature and let's do one more. Let's do it uh, this way. Just so I can show you what happens when you try to put your pages together if you've worked on them singly. All right, so to put a signature together, you get your paper and you cradle it together to make a signature. And you can do any kind of paper you like. If you uh, want to try watercolor paper so that it's nice and heavy, mixed media paper, drawing paper that's not so thick. Um, I'm using calendars right now because I'm getting ready to do a glue book and I'm going to use calendar pages. You can put as many pages as you like in your, your signature, um, whatever you want to do. And I'm going to be putting four 
in. So let me um, let me just fold up one more so that I can show you how to sew the signature. So I'm cradling all these together. So before I sew it, let me show you what happens when you put single pages together into a signature. So now I have, well these aren't too bad, but now I have half of this page with the other half of this page. You know, normally they're not the same kind of color family. And so it really distracts me to see how different they are. I went and made a page. I liked the way the whole page came together. I liked how the different sides, uh, side, sides of the page interacted with each other. And now I have two different pages together. They don't really belong together. They weren't meant to be together. I didn't create them together. So this is why I don't work on single sheets. I put my signature together with the paper that I want to work on, and then I work on the paper in the signature. And that way I know that both sides of the, the two page spread are going to be the same page. They're going to be the same color family. They're going to belong together. Um, I don't know how many times I've worked on single pages and tried to put them together in a book so that I can enjoy them and then have I have this happen. They don't go together. So I enjoy working in a signature um, when I'm doing anything. And I have started doing that. I, I started doing that at least a year ago, uh, if not a little longer. So I am going to show how I sew my pages together. And this is a calendar. Um, I tore apart a calendar. Um, it was a regular size, probably a 12 by 12 or something close to that size calendar. Um, but I noticed that when I folded that in half, that it was really long and I didn't like the size of it. So I went ahead and I trimmed off the top and the bottom of the calendar to make it a size that I wanted to work with. So that's another reason I can make my signatures and my book any dimension that I want it to be. I'm not um, confined to using a blank book that I can find and it not being just a little bit too small for the image that I want to use or a little bit too large. Um, I get to say I want it about this size. So I am making the signature from, I'm going to use four pieces of calendar and I might as well just use these. I am going to be making uh, signatures from the whole entire calendar. I've got 12 pages. I'm going to put four, uh, four pages in each signature. Then I will have three signatures to work in for my project. Uh, you can use any kind of paper that you like that you have. I use copy paper, you know, 20 pound copy paper. I use that a lot. And for the signatures, I don't measure anything. I just sew them together so that they stay together as I'm working on them and they don't come apart and I don't have to guess where they were before. So I am just using just regular thread. It's fairly thin thread. It's not meant to keep the signatures together for a really long time. It's just there long enough for me to work on the signatures and then I probably will take the thread out and sew them into the cover when I get the signatures done. So my piece of thread, I am going to make two links of the height of the book and just a little bit more to tie it with. Um, I don't usually make my holes in the signature as I'm, I do it as I'm sewing it together. I don't measure. I'm going to thread my needle and I am using a little bit of a pointy needle just so that I can get uh, holes through the paper. And I'm going to use a thimble because I use the tip of my finger 
to push the, the needle through. So I start in the middle and I usually start in the middle in the valley part of, of the paper and in somewhere in the center I just kind of guesstimate where the center is and I just kind of poke the needle through to go to the other side. It's just a guesstimate. If you press the needle through the valley, through the fold, and kind of hold it so that it is, uh, the pages are all cradled together like that, the better chance you have that you will actually get the needle to go through to the crease that you have here. The, the fold kind of guides the needle to all through all the pages uh, so that they are on the crease and you want to pull that through. I hold the end with my thumb so it doesn't come all the way out and like I said I like to poke the hole through the valley so I am just going to poke another hole in the top here through the valley. You can see the needle is through there um, because it's easier. It's, it's much easier to poke the hole that way than it is to poke the hole through the fold as a mountain fold. And so I have come up through this, this hole right here and I am going to go down through that hole that I just made. I'm kind of holding the pages together so they're not shifting. I'm holding that thread with my thumb with my fingers here so it doesn't come all the way out and I have the thread on this side again and I go all the way to the bottom and I am not going all the way to the end um, a half inch a quarter inch um, in in from the edge is good um, and like I said I just guesstimate it's not I, I will be measuring these pages with the regular holes when I do sew them into a cover. So I'm just guesstimating and it's just a temporary hold. I poke the hole through this one and I end up on the other side and I am going to go through the center where I already have a thread coming through and I want to go through the center without splitting the thread. I don't want to go through the thread that's already there and that way I can straighten out and tighten up these threads. So I'm going up through that middle hole and I am going to unthread my needle. So all you need to do, you've got a thread that goes from the top to the bottom. You want to make sure your tails, you've got one tail on one side of that thread and one tail on the other side. You want to tighten it up enough so that the thread is not loose on both sides. Make sure that you've got a tight thread, but you don't want it so tight that you're buckling your pages. And then all you do is you tie a square knot over that middle thread and that holds it all together. And that is how you put a signature together. I'm just cutting off those threads so I've got a little some little tails here but now my signature is ready for me to work on and it's not going to be shifting and I don't have to remember what pages went where and everything is going to stay together as I work on it and it makes me happier working in the signatures this way. So I will work in the signatures and then when I get my three signatures done in this case, it can be five, it can be seven, it can be an even number. I just like, um, I like odd numbers. When I get my signatures done for the book, I will sew them into a book. And I do have a video um, with the three hold pamphlet stitch showing how I sew the signatures into a book. It is in a playlist called Book Construction um, and this one will be in that playlist as well just so that everything's together and easier to find. So I will be um, sewing the remaining bits of this calendar together so I can work on it.
and that is how I do my signatures. It's very, very easy, and maybe I should sew one more for anyone who just didn't see what I was doing. Let me do one more real fast. I'm trying to fold my papers here so that the corners are together. I always go to the center and then work my way to each side and that makes this easier to stay together, the corners together where they belong. Let me fold this one this way. And I am going to be using this for a glue book so I really don't mind if the pages are upside down or whatever, I'm not real concerned about that. Uh, so, but since I'm thinking about it, I might as well do that. Um, doesn't really matter. So I've got my pieces of paper together. Make sure they're straight and um, where they need to be. Get my piece of thread and again two heights and a little bit for tying. Thread my pointy needle. And I am going to go through the center this way. I need my thimble because I always poke my finger with the needle and it hurts. I'm going to make just the hole on this side and I am going to turn it over because that's where my thread is and go through that hole I just made. Okay. You can clip your pages together so they will stay where you want them to stay. I end up sewing the clip to my signature so I, I don't do that but it might be easier if you're just starting out with this. And then I make a hole near the bottom and go all the way through. Then through the center, up through the hole that already has a thread in it. Unthread the needle, pull it tight so that sometimes the thread gets hung up on the paper somewhere so you make sure that your thread is tight but not buckling the paper. Make sure you've got the tails on either side of that thread and this one is not on the other side. Right now both my tails are on one side of this thread so I'm going to scooch one of those tails underneath that thread. Make sure it's tight. And I'm just going to make a square knot. And cut off my tails so I don't have these long tails to have to avoid. And that's all there is to it. I've got another signature ready to work in. So I hope that was helpful. You can make signatures out of anything. You can make them any size you want. You can put as many pages in as you care for. Um, it's all up to what you want to do. I have done signatures when I'm trying to figure out what kind of paper I like to work on or I want to work on. I put different kinds of papers together um, just, just for the fun of it. So um, I like the uh, uh, I like the freedom of being able to choose what kind of paper, how many kinds of papers, what size of paper, and all that stuff. I like the freedom of this. So that's why I work in signatures. It just seems easier for me. Um, it works out better for me. And I like making my own books, my own book covers, putting my own signatures in those books. So it just kind of makes it a little bit more unique. Um, so if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. 
I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for watching.